Okay, we are talking about Linden Blossom today. I know many of you probably do not like this note, but I'm absolutely obsessed with the way the flowers smell. So I've been wanting to put together a video on this particular note, and today I've got one for you. It's a top 10 list with one bonus option after the outro, but I've got a top 10 Linden Blossom Lime Blossom fragrances video for you today. Find out what they are coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about Lime Blossom, Linden Blossom. Are you familiar with this note? So I'm obsessed with the smell. It's very intoxicating and I had my experience with a overgrowth of Linden Blossom off of trees in the south, no, maybe the mid part of France in, Jan in June of 2022. So the story was I was in an Uber. I pulled up in, in front of a train station in a smaller town. I opened the door and there was this aroma, this smell in the air. So what I did was I went for the hunt to find the smell and I came upon these trees of these Linden Blossoms blooming and the smell so, so strong and intoxicating. As I said, it had filled up the whole entire city or that area where the trees were so now I'm obsessed with the the way the fra the note or the, the actual flowers smell we don't have linden blossoms here in San Francisco but recently I was in Montreal and a relative of mine had one right on their front yard so I guess there's certain parts of the world that the linden blossom grows let me know if you have a tree have you smelled the flowers do you enjoy the smell do you not Again, I've got a top 10 list here. I don't have every single fragrance out there. There's probably a lot of Linden Blossom, Lime Blossom focused fragrances, but I've got a top 10 list that features the fragrance, whether they're prominently featured or somewhat of a supporting note, but I've got them highlighted here for you. A lot of these are going to smell like spring as well. And I, I read and researched online that the Linden Blossoms bloom May, June. So it's kind of a late spring flower and we are on our way to spring here soon. So better late than never to get this video out for you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm craving spring. We've had a pretty uh, intense winter this year, a lot of rain and I love spring floral smells. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with number 10. It's a fairly small house called Nativa. They're island floral focused fragrances. This one features lime and linden, lime linden blossom and it's called Bahamas. So all of the fragrances are named after different islands. They've got Jamaica, St. Thomas, I believe, various other islands. This Bahamas does feature the linden blossom or lime blossom. So along with the linden blossom, they have orange blossom here, neroli, musk, and white wood. So basically it's very yellow floral. The linden blossom is a yellow, white yellow floral kind of a note. If you look at some photos that I'm putting up here, you'll see what it looks like. And of course, orange blossom, neroli, a citrus floral. So we've got a citrus floral combo against the linden blossom. Linden blossom, lime blossom also has a honeyed smell. So you'll smell like a, like a floral honey thing with a linden blossom uh, floral smell. So you'll pick up like honey touches in the actual flower. And of course, if you've ever had honey that's uh, from bees that are, you know, doing it off of the linden lime blossom, those are very, very flavorful. I absolutely love them. But this is a very clean fragrance. It's white and yellow floral combo, citrus floral, but it also has some light white woods, as they say, fairly, uh, faint kind of woods smell and of course lots of musk as well where it was very very fresh i've never been to the bahamas so i don't know if they have the flower the linden blossom trees there but uh, i think they've done a great job and then starting off the list at number 10 with the uh, nativa's bahamas moving on to the house of quinto canto it's lucretia this one right here this is a tiziana terenzi sister house and once again Paolo Terenzi of Tiziana Terenzi does really great fruity floral fragrances with lots of warmth and ambery notes in the dry down as well. This is fairly complex compared to the last fragrance. It has a, a bite, an intensity I should say, with jasmine, vanilla pear, coffee, lime blossom, cacao, honeysuckle, pink pepper, and benzoin. So benzoin is going to create that kind of amber touch when it's drying down. It has fruits, gourmand touches like the coffee and cacao, and of course that linden blossom or lime blossom comes in as well. Well, the, to give it its unique smell. Really very, very addicted to the smell. I always think of that time I opened that door, Uber car open, and that smell hit my nose. There was a lot of uh, lime blossom, linden blossom trees in that little town. It was a town near 
Lyon, France, uh, going towards Italy. But anyway, Lucretia is like a gourmand, amber floral, fruity floral take on a fragrance featuring lime blossom. It's not as prominent as the last fragrance, but it's a lot more complex than the last fragrance. So it's Quinto Canto Lucretia. Let me know if you know that fragrance. Moving on to the house of Wesker. I don't talk about this house too much. I should dig into all of their fragrances, but this is one that I've spoken about before. This is Imperial, this one right here. Are you guys familiar with this house? Are you a fan of their fragrances? Let me know. So this one also is a mimosa dominant fragrance. Mimosa is another yellow flower that blooms in the in the springtime uh, or much earlier than uh, Linden Blossom though. Go catch a video I've done on mimosa fragrances. Uh, they're little uh, yellow pom-pom like uh, flowers off of these big trees. Also, Mimosa has a light faint almondy effect, so they've added almonds here. The fragrance is uber powdery because Mimosa fragrances tend to be powdery. There's violet here, musk also contributing to the powdery factor. And then once again, Linden Blossom is not the main note here, but it's more of a supporting uh, player. It comes in, gives it its unique floral, yellow floral twist, and then moves on. But this is a very powdery fragrance. Most notes in here are very powdery, including cotton flower, which comes off musky as well. And then we've got jasmine and clover. It's a really gorgeous fragrance, really powdery for sure. And we're focusing on these powdery floral notes to make an overdose of a musky powdery floral fragrance. So this is Wesker's Imperial. Let me know if you are familiar with that fragrance. A lot of these fragrances seem like they're focused on spring flowers, because this next one is also uh, a spring floral focused fragrance, which uh, the the note of Linden Blossom comes in to support once again. This is from the house of Jacques Fat. It's Lilas Exqui, this one right here. So lilac, exquisite lilac basically, is that what it stands for? It's lilacs with hyacinth, two very spring smells for me. I love spring flowers, they're some of my favorites. Then we've got Linden Blossom here, Lilies, Angelica, Ambrette, Musk, Timber Silk, Ambroxan, and Magnolia. Great collection of flowers, really, really fragrant flowers. The lilac is one of my favorite smells of all time. I'm obsessed with the way lilacs smell and spring is just around the corner, so we'll be seeing those pop up as well. But the hyacinth, really, really very, very fragrant, green smelling floral fragrance. And then of course, the linden blossom comes in as well. It's got a very unique spring floral combo and each of the notes, the lilac, the hyacinth and the linden blossom are playing a major role here with the li lilac kind of winning out because it's a very lilac forward fragrance but the other two floral notes comes in to provide its unique characteristic with its smells as well. Really great offering from the house of Jacques Fat. It's Lilas Exqui from the house of Jacques Fat. Up next, going to the house of Dias and Durga, it's Bistro Waters, this one right here. So Bistro Waters is a fragrance that has vegetal notes with linden blossom as well. So it's got the green bell peppers, so it very much has that smell, that very distinct green bell pepper smell. Do you enjoy that smell? It's got that here along with linden or lime blossom. There's also coriander, there's moss, basil, pear, mandarin orange, and nutmeg. So we've got some spices, warm spices, fresh spices, fruity notes herbal aromatic notes. The moss provides its unique mossy characteristic. And then of course, the combo of the green bell peppers with the lime blossom, linden blossom. It actually accentuates the bell pepper, kind of provides a very interesting smell, that honeyed, lightly almondy, kind of a very fragrant floral smell that the lime blossom has uh, against the green bell peppers is a very, very beautiful combo. Let me know if you're a fan of Bistro Waters from the house of Dias and Durga. And what do you think about vegetal smelling or fragrances that smell like vegetables? So put a comment down below so I can find out. So that's Bistro Waters from the house of Dias and Durga. Next, going to the house at number five, it's uh, Imaginary Authors, The Soft Lawn. Are you familiar with this one? This is Soft Lawn 2.0, the second edition. It was reformulated and brought back. And the original and this particular version of the soft lawn is known for providing a tennis ball smell. So basically inspired by the lawn, the, the tennis court. So we've got the tennis ball here, ivies covered the court with the ivies and vetiver. There's the lime blossom, linden blossom here, oak moss, laurels, and grapefruit. Really, really great fragrance. It's an unusually, interestingly weird, but good fragrance from this house. You've got to enjoy the smell of the tennis balls. And there was a friend I had, still have a friend, but they don't wear this anymore. I think they, they, they wore so much of this and they tell me that, oh man, this one gets me so many compliments. People stop 
stop me on the street and ask me what I'm wearing. This is what I've heard from them. But I like this one. It's not one of my all, all time favorites from this house. The tennis ball, you got to get used to. But I like the whole tennis ball combo mixed in with the ivy, the vetiver, the linden blossom, the oak moss, the laurels, all of that. It's a very, very unique combo and really great smelling spring like smell. So it's imaginary authors, the soft lawn. That's the 2.0 version. If you have the original, I think they're pretty close, I think. Next, moving on to the House of Le Galeons Tilul, this one right here. This is a paying tribute to the Linden Blossom. And it's got a Linden Blossom Accord here, honey, ambroxan, and musks. They've thrown in honey here. And as I was saying earlier, I feel like Linden Blossom has a honeyed touch in there. So you're adding honey in this fragrance and it's intensifying the honey touches of the Linden Blossom. But this is so Linden Blossom forward. It smells like the stuff totally, totally smells like that day I walked out because in the air you could smell honey and you could smell that very distinct smell of that flower, the linden blossom, lime blossom or, or tilil. And they've captured it perfectly here, but they've sweetened it quite a bit up with a lot of honey. So if you don't like sweet honey fragrances, you might be turned off by this one. It's quite sweet. But along the way, you also have ambroxan and musks. So to prolong the life in the base, but I feel like it's a great tribute to that beautiful, beautiful flower sweetened up with the honey. So this is Le Galeon Tilul check that out if you don't know that one next one of the classic fragrances from the house of d'orsay redone by olivia jacobetti it's a uh, cg i'm not gonna say the french name of this one as you can see right there very tough to, to say that but this is a linden blossom bomb but this one to me compared to the last one this is like paying tribute with the actual smell sure there are some smells of honey touches in here because the flower does have that smell but they're not adding more of it in here so they basically have lime blossom or linden blossom acacia wood beeswax absolute cut hay lemon tree leaves yes it's sweet with the beeswax but it has more of a waxy sweet effect rather than drippy sticky sweet honey so yeah it does have that sweetness but a lot of other notes comes in to you know, tone it down. The hay tones it down, the lemon tree leaves tones it down, but it creates a really beautiful combination. It's a wonderful, wonderful creation from this house. And I believe it was redone by looking at the recipe of the previous version, because this house is an older house that was brought back and Olivia Jacobetti redid this fragrance from the recipes, I think the previous or original recipes. But Dorsey's CG, wonderful offering. Check that out if you don't know it. I highly recommend that one from that house. Next up at number two, we've got Laboratorio Olfativo's Tiglio Mirabilis, this one right here. Are you familiar with this one? This, I think they did a great job. It's Luca Maffei who created this fragrance for Laboratorio Olfativo. And I was just saying in another video, Laboratorio Olfativo is doing some great releases as of late. They're doing some great stuff. It's just a an odd thing that not a lot of retailers carry this brand. I don't get it. The distribution is weird. They are sold here in San Francisco at uh, Ministry of Scent. But I don't see them at a lot of retailers. Like Lucky Scent doesn't carry the brand. But it carries their sister house, Maison Tahite, but not the br main brand itself. But either way, this is Linden Blossom, Jasmine, Neroli, Ginger, Cardamom, Cashmere Wood, and Musk. So it's quite musky woody in the base. Lots of flowers on top with uh, some spices coming in as well. The ginger cardamom combo is super, super amazing against the Linden Blossom's yellow floral fragrance, along with that j jasmine, the white floral touches, and then of course the citrus floral touches of the neroli. There's some creamy aspects to the fragrance as well, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, and that's why I've put it here at number two. So this is Laboratorio Olfativo's Tiglio Mirabilis. Tiglio, I believe, is uh, what uh, Linden Blossom is in Italian. Last but not least, at number one, it's Thomas DeMonico's Sol Solgato. So last year, I was mentioning towards the end of the year, I'm seeing a lot of Linden Blossom fragrances pop up. These two both came out last year, and um, you know they're both Linden Blossom focused. And these two are two of the best in, in my video here because I really like the way they smell, especially Sol Solgato. Absolutely love it. Really, really love it. It's my second favorite from this house. And it wears gorgeous. It's really super strong. It's Linden Blossom, Mimosa, Salt, Sandalwood, Smoked Vanilla, Ambergris, Skin Musks, Heliotrope, Cotton Flower Accord. It's kind of like a floral take on what you would experience with raw gold, 
but doesn't smell like it, I'm saying. I'm just saying you experience how that intensity is. There's sweet notes in here. It's uber floral, but salt kind of tones it down. Lots of woods and vanilla touches in here as well, and an overdose of musks. It really comes alive in the heat and smells super fantastic, but you gotta love Linden Blossom. And again, as I said at the beginning of the video, Linden Blossom is not everyone's cup of tea. It's a very specific kind of a smell, and you gotta be into that smell. If you don't like it, you're not gonna like any of these fragrances, because all these fragrances will smell like Linden Blossom. Even the ones that are not prominently featuring the Linden Blossom, they will smell like it because there's Linden Blossom in it. But again, Sol Solgato is my favorite in this list. From the house of uh, Thomas de Monaco, it is uh, number one in this top 10 Linden Blossom focus video. Let me know your thoughts on these fragrances and also let me know, do you enjoy Linden Blossom? Do you know how the f flower smells? Have you lived in a, a place where you have these uh, beautiful flowers blooming? Uh, most importantly, I think there's that famous street in Berlin uh, known for the Linden Blossoms. Uh, I I've seen the trees there. I've never been there when they've bloomed. But as I said, two years ago, I was in, uh, near, near, near Lyon, France, uh, almost to the border, close to Italy. And I went to this uh, town and, like I said, got out of the car and that fragrance hit my nose. And ever since then, I've been addicted to the smell of Linden Blossom. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments on these fragrances, please do let me know. Also, let me know what other Linden Blossom fragrances are out there that I should check out. Always curious. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. So last but not least, I've got a bonus fragrance here. I think this fragrance is back, but sadly the perfumer behind the brand passed away several years ago, and it was the only fragrance I had from this house. It's Vero Profumo's Naja. And once again, just like the fragrance Legalian's Tilul, it's a very honeyed take on uh, Linden Blossom, but along with the honey, you've got tobacco as well. So in addition to what you get with uh, Le Galeon, they've thrown in this kind of, a uh, you know, smoky, a bit ashy tobacco in here. And then you also have honey for sure. And then melons and osmanthus to provide some fruitiness and also a bit of ozonic marine-ish kind of touches with the melons. It's quite intense, potent. You gotta like honey. It's very sweet. The tobacco does tone it down a bit, but there's ton of honey with the linden or lime blossom and the linden blossom as I said does provide that honeyed effect honeyed floral effect so it's pretty much a very sweet fragrance but anyway I'm highlighting in here as a bonus option it's Naja from the house of Vero Profumo let me know if you're familiar with that house and I think like I said they are the fragrances are selling again they were gone for a while but because the perfumer of Vero she died. Vero Kern, I think is her name. She passed away, so I think it was a lull there for a while. But I think they're back at Lucky Scent. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.